children, my name is Bessie. Today we are going to learn song and dance. The title of our song is called My God is So Big. Children, do you know that your God is so big? Now children, we are going to do with the motion. Stand up children. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are raised, the rivers, the rivers are raised. The stars are his handiworks too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are raised, the rivers are raised, the stars are his handiworks too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, Nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the sea. My God made the elephants too. God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Now children, you are going to learn the motion step by step. My God is so big. My God is so big, so strong. And so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are raised, the rivers are raised, the stars are his handy works too. The mountains, children do like this, mountains. The mountains, the rivers, the rivers and the stars. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. The mountains, the mountains, the mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his, and he works too. Have you understand? Let's do it once again. My God is so big, my, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. 
There is nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handy works too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handy works too. Now children are going to do the next part. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There is nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees. My God made the seas. My God made the elephants too. Children, this is trees, trees. And this is sea. And elephants. Now children, let's do it once again. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, trees, do like these trees, and the seas, and the elephants. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's Thing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing God cannot do. My God made the trees. My God made the seas. My God made the elephants too. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Now children are going to do with the music. Stand up children! Yay! is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. So great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the seas, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Now, children, let's do it once again. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so 
so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the seas, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Did you enjoy the motion and the dance? Now we are going to the next lesson. The next lesson is Bible stories. Remove your Bibles and open your ears to hear the word of God. Yay! Bye! Hello children. How are you children? I hope you are doing good. I'm also okay. Um, to your teacher, teacher Lillian. Welcome back to Bible story. Children, last time we talked about the love of God. Do you remember, children, I told you about the story of the father, the driver, and his son? Do you remember, children? Yes, I hope you remember everything. I told you how the father decided in his heart to kill his son so that he can save the 60, more than 50 passengers in the bus. This is the love of God. God who created us, he brought in this world his son, Jesus Christ, the only son, the only beloved son. He came in this world and died for our sins. Why? Because all human beings, all of us, we were already judged to hellfire. Even you, children, even you, before you were born, you were already judged to hellfire. But because of the love of God, he decided, no. Instead of all these people die, go to hellfire, internal, let me give my son. So God brought his son, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross because of us. Children, can you, can you do that, children? Do you think it's a normal heart? This is not a normal heart. This is the heart of God. Remember, children, God is not a human being. God is a spirit. We cannot see God by our eyes. Why? Because we have this flesh. Human beings, we, we have this body. Jesus don't have this Jesus, God don't have this body. God is spirit. So, children, when we think about the love of God, we can also think about our heart. So it is you, children, it is us to decide, children. Will I follow the love of God? Will I believe the love of God? Will I take the love of God? Who brought his son to die on the cross because of our sins? Or will we follow our thoughts? Or will we follow what we see, what we feel, and what we are doing? Children, God loves only those who have faith, children. If you have faith, that means you believe only the word. You believe what God did. You believe what Jesus did for us, children. So last time we talked about that. Although Adam committed sin, through him we became sinners. But the same, same God, children, you remember? What did God do? He went back to the Garden of Eden and killed an animal. He killed a sheep and he covered Adam and Eve with a tunic of skin. Today, children, I want we think about our heart. Let us think about our heart, children. Why? Because also children, also children, when they die anytime, children, if you die even today, remember, if you are a sinner, if you die a sinner, you go to hell. But if you die a righteous person, somebody who believes Jesus took my sins away, then you are righteous. Such children with that kind of a heart, with that kind of faith, they are going to heaven, children. So children, please, although I love you, although I like preaching to you, although I like sharing the word of God with you, but I cannot give you faith, children. It is up to you to decide and to think about your heart. 
So today we are going to talk about two hearts. Children, only to those who are righteous they can receive what I'm talking. Only to those who are righteous they can listen to me. Why? Because they know the word is pure. They know the word is only the truth. Let me give you an example, children. Children, do you know a chameleon? Do you know a chameleon, children? I hope you know it. Yeah. A chameleon changes its color. When it goes, it goes a place where it's green, it turns to a green color. When it goes to a place where it's brown, it turns a, gr a brown color. So a chameleon changes its color according to where it is. I hope children you know, I know you know chameleon. Today I want to talk about the heart of a chameleon. So children, you have to listen very careful. Maybe you have the heart of a chameleon. After this, you are going to get an answer of your heart. Remember, I want to tell you what kind of a chameleon heart. There are those children, I'm righteous, I'm holy, I'm perfect. When they, but when they see their life, when they see how they behave, they change their tank. They change their mouth. They change their speech. Yeah, I'm righteous. I'm holy. But why have I done this? Why have I spoke a lie? Why have I beaten my friend? What can't I share my things to my friends? Then am I really righteous? Sure. So there's those children who look their behavior. Although they are righteous, they focus on what they do. They focus on what they think. So when they do bad, when they do wrong, they get confused. So immediately they change. No, I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. When they go back to the Bible or when they sit again, come back to their senses, no, I'm righteous. I think I'm righteous. I think also this one, Jesus served on the cross. So there are those children who they have 50-50 faith. They are not sure of their faith. They are like a million. When things change, they change also their faith. When things change, they change also their speech. They change also what they confess. They say, oh, I think I'm a sinner. No, I doubt I'm not righteous. Children, please, please, children. Faith cannot change. The word of God does not change, children. It is your mind, it is your thought, it is what you see yourself. Such people, such children, they have a chameleon heart. Also, children, let me tell you about another animal. But this is not an animal, like a bat. Children, do you know bat? B-A-T. Do you know? A bat is not an animal, neither a bird. Do you know, children? Yeah, this is a bat. It's not an animal, neither not a bird. Why? <laughs> it is not in forest, neither it is not in, in our places. It is everywhere. So you cannot put bat in animal group, neither you can put, you cannot count bat in bird, bird's group. There are also such children like that. Sometimes they say, I'm righteous, I'm holy, but no, I'm a sinner. What about? They just focus on what they see, what they are, according to the immediately, immediate function, immediate condition. Children, I don't know what I can do, but please, children, my prayer is you have a clear faith, a faith that does not change, a faith that does not come by the situation, neither by the condition of our behavior. Why? Because already God knew before we were born. God knew our hearts, children. God knew our nature. God knew our true image. Children, our true image is sinners. This is our true image. 
Sometimes we are confused with our behavior. No, I'm not like such a person. I'm not like that friend of mine. I'm not like that person. I'm not like that child. Why? Because our mind is full of judgment. Our mind is full of judgment. But when we remove the judgment mind and follow the word of God the way it is children, then we are going to have a very clear and accurate faith. But some children, they have a bad heart, also a chameleon heart. Such hearts, God is not pleased. Children, God is not pleased with such a heart. Please, children. So long as you know, you realize your true image. I'm a sinner because of Adam. I was made a sinner when my mother conceived me, before I was born. That means in me, I have the gene of sin. Let me go back, children, to my preachings. I remember one day I told you, if you are an Africa, then an Africa give birth to an Africa baby. If you are an Arab, an Arab give birth to an Arab baby. Also, when you plant a banana seed, then you are going to harvest a banana fruit. Also, when you plant a mango seed, you are going to harvest a mango fruit. Then us human beings, children, we have the seed of Adam, the seed of sin. And what is sin, children, you remember? Sin is disobedient. Adam disobeyed God. Adam did not receive the word of God the way it is. Adam received the heart of Satan and ate the fruit. So children, remember and mark this one. We are not sinners. Sin is not eating the fruit, children. Remember, sin is not what Adam ate. No. Before Adam ate the fruit, children, the heart of God had already left Adam's heart. Now in Adam's heart, the heart of Satan was inside. So before Adam took the fruit and eat, the heart of God was not in the heart of Adam. This is sin. Children, let me repeat. Sin is not eating of the fruit. Sin is the position of the heart of Adam. How? The position of the heart of Adam was full of the heart of Satan. The heart of Adam was not, the heart of God was not in the heart of Adam. That's why the heart of Satan guided Adam, taking the fruit. He took the fruit and ate. Because of that, children, the heart of disobedience, the heart of Satan in us, led us to go against God. So I have the seed of Adam. I have the seed of disobedience. Because of the seed of, of, seed of disobedience, I do iniquity. I break the law, children. So it is the heart, not the action. The heart of man, it is the heart that has problem, not your action, neither your behavior, children. Are we together, children? Are we together? Yes. Then unless you realize your true image, unless you realize, I cannot change. A banana seed cannot produce a passion fruit. A mango seed cannot produce a maize. Unless you realize that you are a seed of Adam, you cannot receive the works of Jesus Christ on the cross. So, after we receive the word, after receiving the works of Jesus in the, on the cross, we are no longer sinners. We are righteous, holy, and perfect. So, children, my focus is the heart that receives the heart of God. The heart that receives the heart of God, it talks positively. It talks positively. Today, children, let us read Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. Let us open our Bible, children. Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. 
it says, Say to them, As I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Children, let's read again. Say to them, As I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Children, let's read once more. Say to children, now I'm talking to you children. God is telling me to talk to you. Say to children, as God lives, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Children, God is telling us, God is telling you what you spoke, what comes out from your tongue, from your mouth, God hears. God hears everything that you spoke. Even secretly, God hears. Children, do you know that? Do you know, children, God hears you? Even in the toilet, when you are just there busy, God hears you. Wherever you go, wherever you are. Whatever you speak, whatever you speak to God, he hears. Mark that, children. God hears whatever you speak. Anything you speak to God, he hears. So here, if you say, I'm a sinner, God hears. Ah, oh, you are a sinner? You are a sinner? My God, you don't believe Jesus sold your sins on the cross? So God is not happy. But if he says, I'm righteous, I'm holy. God is very happy. Also, children, although we live in this world, sometimes we pass many problems. Sometimes we miss food. Sometimes we become sick. Sometimes we see our family problems. So a righteous person, children, a born-again children, a born-again child, a born-again child speaks positively. Although your father is sick, my father is not sick. Although you don't have school fees, I have school fees. Although you are not feeling well, you just say to God, I'm healthy. Although you have no food in your house, just speak to God, I have plenty of food. Speaking positively. Whatever you speak, whatever you tell God, he hears children. So God is not happy to the, such children who speak negatively. God says they are righteous through Jesus Christ, but where, where, there you are, you say, I'm a sinner, I'm not righteous, I'm a sinner. God is not happy. Likewise, any situation you pass through, God knows. God already knows. I'm bringing this situation to this child, to this family. Why? Because I want to bless this family. First reason, this family is righteous. The heart of this family are believing what Jesus did on the cross. Then, although I bring problems, I bring difficulties in this family, I'm going to bless this family. God already knows. But children, when you're in difficulty, when you're in problems, what do you speak? How do you take it? Do you take it positively or you take it negatively? God, tell, God is telling us, whatever you speak on his ears, whatever you speak, children, are we together? Just as you have spoken in my hearing, whatever you speak, God hears. Then God is going to fulfill everything you are going to talk. So children, if you are first place, if you are righteous, speak positively. Children, you are righteous, not if. We were righteous before we were born, we were made righteous. So with this faith, whatever I spoke in God's ear, ear he hears me. So God fulfilled all my prayers. Why? Because first, he made me righteous. Second, I'm his child. 
I'm his brother, especially I'm his brother, I'm brother to Jesus Christ. Children, do you know if you believe you are righteous and holy, you are now a brother and a sister to Jesus? Do you believe that, children? Yeah, let's open that verse, Hebrews chapter 2. Let's open, children, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 12. Are we together, children? Yeah. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 12. Are, we, are you there, children? Are we together? Yes. Now, let me read. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11. For both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one. For which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. For both he who sanctifies. Who sanctifies? Jesus Christ. And those who are being sanctified. Who are sanctified? Me and you, children. Me and you. We were sanctified. All of us, Jesus have reason. He is not ashamed to call us brethren. So children, who is your brother? Jesus. Who is your brother, children? Jesus. Even me too. Jesus is my brother. Why? Because he sanctified me. Jesus who sanctified me 2,000 years ago, he is calling me his sister. I cannot stop calling him my brother. Why? Because he died for me. Now we are one. He's righteous, I'm righteous. He's holy, I'm holy. Children, this is very beautiful. God is happy. Just talk positively. If you talk positively in any situation, in any difficulty, God will change it. God change. Why? Because no, he's my brother. I don't want him to suffer. He's my sister. I want to help me. I love him because he has the same faith with me. He has the same faith with God. He just received what I did on the cross. He believes that I, I saved him. Children, it is very easy. It is very easy. Especially to you young ones. As you grow up, you have to grow with the right faith. Don't focus your deeds. Don't focus your action. Because when you focus your action, Satan will condemn you. Satan will tell you. Let me give you another example, Chiri. You remember Judas? Yeah, Judas. Although he was with Jesus walking among the disciples, but when Jesus betrayed, when Judas betrayed Jesus, Satan condemned him. Judah, Judah, you see what you have done? See, you have betrayed Jesus. See now, see what is happening. Satan is very happy when he condemns us. Satan is very happy. Because why? Satan don't want us to have faith. Satan want to condemn us so that we go to hellfire with him. That's what he did to Judah. To Judas. See what you have done. Judah, see what you have done. Then later what happened? Judah went and killed and hanged himself and killed himself. Why? Judah lived with Jesus everywhere where Jesus was walking in this world. He was together with him. But the problem is he had the heart of chameleon. He had the heart of bat. Why? Because he didn't know the will of God. He didn't know the will of God. He didn't know that already it had been planned. Satan will use Judah and Peter. He didn't know. So Satan is very happy when we don't know the heart of God. Satan is very happy because he knows those people who don't know the will of God, who don't know the heart of God. So like Judah's heart, Satan was very happy. Ah, now I have very good chance to make Judah to condemn himself and also to make him to cruise, to make Judah to kill himself. Why? Because of his action, because of what he did. Children, don't have the heart of chameleon, please. Don't have the heart of bat. Just receive the word of God the way it is. Just believe what Jesus did. Just receive the love of God. Children, 
God died. Jesus died for you. Don't change. Don't keep on changing your faith. Just believe Jesus is the way. Jesus is the life. Without Jesus, we cannot go to heaven. Although you have everything in this world, without believing Jesus, you cannot go to heaven. You cannot live internal life. Don't have the heart of chameleon. Don't have the heart of bat. Neither the heart of Judah. Have the heart like the infirmity man. You remember, children, I told you about the infirmity man, 38 years. When this man was healed, he just walked very happy and joyful, laughing, happy. But when the Pharisees met him, they said, who made you like this? Who healed you? Today is Sabbath day. Who did? Today is Sabbath day. But he didn't care. He said, I don't know about anything. What I know, the one who healed me. What I know, he told me, take up your bed and walk. I like this heart. The infirmity heart man had a very great heart, had a positive heart. Although the Pharisees came, who told you? Who healed you? Today is Sabbath day. The law is not supposed to, you are not supposed to be healed during Sabbath day. Who did this to you? But he just ignored them. Why? He knew Jesus who healed him. So he didn't care whether the law says like this. He didn't care whether people talk about the Sabbath day. He didn't care. What he received was what Jesus did for him. I was sick for 38 years, and now I'm healed. Children, just draw a clear line within, with, between these two hearts. The heart of Judah and the heart of, and the heart of infirmity man 38 years. Infirmity man 38 years, he didn't care what people says, said to him. Even he didn't care what, whether it was Sabbath day or not. He just focused positively. I believe and I know the person who hid me told me, take up your bed and walk. When they saw his heart, they left. Children, have the heart of infirm the man of infirmity 38 years. He had a very precious heart. He had a very clear faith. Even you children, just believe. I don't know what I'm doing, whether I see myself, I'm bad or good. What I know, Jesus died for me. Amen, children? Amen, children? Amen, children? Yes. Sure, children, Jesus died for us. Like the heart of this man who was healed, eh? For 38 years, this heart is very precious before God. Remember, children, Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. Speak positively. This is faith. Thank you, children, for listening to me. Have a nice time, children. See you next time. Bye.